Well, hey out there, fans, friends, feds, and frenemies, it is I, Postmodern Cowboy, and I'm back playing Going Medieval. Um, now, Going Medieval is a uh, community management, survival, crafting, building game um, in the vein of RimWorld, in the vein of Dwarf Fortress. Uh, it is made by Foxy Voxel, um, and... We're on uh, we're on episode number seven. Um, we're playing on the Ad Aberwyvern Seed. Aberwyvern is a fictional community from David Macaulay's Castle. That's a 1980s children's book. Um, also an associated 1983 PBS animated TV show, um, which chronicles the construction of a fictional castle in the Welsh community of Aberwyvern uh, by the English occupiers. Uh, it's a pretty cool look at the history um so we left things off we were taming some pigs we got some hay uh we're low on meat we need to cook and come a little into the woods wrap here um and we probably need to solidify this gatehouse um, which is what this uh temporary engineering headquarters is going to become on this episode so i might actually start with that we'll see what uh, what tasks need to be done what tasks are currently being done uh, andrew's building hankin is mining um, i also need to mine out the subterranean uh, extension on this side as well so maybe i'll have hankin start on that that'll you know this so one two three four so three click yep and might as well could be more of a winter project i guess that the mining itself could wait oops see what i did there that's a oopsie poopsie fucky wucky um let's try that again this time on the correct level there we go so we want the stairs to be able to uh, reach down and there we go okay that's on the correct floor and we'll need to delete that shelf I don't know what's going to go in this room yet. You know, these miraculously somehow these structures, uh, these subterranean rooms are centered off the gatehouse, which is just, uh, like I said, a friggin' miracle. Um, and I'm going to start blocking out the actual entrance of the structure. I'm going to need to do some... Uh, Okay, we'll just engineer that out for now. And let's see. So a gatehouse in um in a medieval castle is usually bounded um by two um semicircular round towers. So we'll give those a width of uh five units, I guess. Or let's go five units from there. Should give them a face width of three. So I'm just doing some quick some quick mental engineering here. Uh, of course, I'm probably going to fuck this up, but... Yeah, that's good. So three, one, two. And, and what this what this does... Um, yeah, see, I've already fucked up. Look at that. So what this uh, should, in theory, do is give me um, two flanking... Uh, uh, they're they're semicircular towers. They're not they're not um full around towers like this. And they're much smaller. Um, but two flanking elevated positions um to put fire into this corridor here. Um, this corridor corridor is gonna be lined with doors. Um, part of this at least will extend into the interior structure there. Probably remove that wooden thing and put a door in. And like that, right? That's all we need. Two, three, and a dual stress. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, and then I'll put uh, this. I'm probably going to put um, flanking. Hmm. 
we're gonna we're gonna need to remove some roof here i think in order to make this design work but for the moment i'm just going to it's been uh about a week and a half since i i did a any any youtube videos have been busy with uh, work stuff and life stuff but um I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bang out a bunch of things this Sunday afternoon here. Um, I'm just drinking my coffee and uh, I'm going to bang out some stuff. Okay, and then I suppose in order to actually access these upper levels in the event that we do get... Um, uh, an early bandit attack. Uh, we, I don't think we got attacked in the last episode, so we're probably due for one. Um, every time you play this is a little bit different, but um, I'm going to play some reinforced doors like this. I think those ones are backwards, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. Andrew should theoretically start constructing. Um, I should take him off hauling and stewarding. Take Hank and off hauling. Get him onto mining. Need to take Catherine off hauling and put her really hard onto cooking, I guess. Um, harvest is even less important. I'm going to think about my crops, too. Someone should be planting. I'll just roll time here. That's fine. Um, who else is the planter? So Osgar should be growing, harvesting seconds, and I can take him off. Uh, Steward and Hall. Someone just keeps passing out. Unconscious, exhausted. Yeah, so why can't Missa sleep? She can. She's just not gonna make it to her bed in time. <laughs> she's like so tired she can't even get to bed. All right, there we go. And again, as these rooms and towers start to expand, we're gonna add um, a little bit more. Um, like each tower should have a small barracks area in it, and eventually there will be rooms in the inner courtyard here surrounding the keep. Which again, I'm gonna have to block out the keep at some point. They're adding, they're adding a whole bunch of new features. There's a, a, a major update coming soon for uh, temperature system systems within the game. Um, so by way of explaining that, uh, temperature in Going Medieval right now is, um, see in the top right there, it says uh, inside's clear, uh, it's 25 degrees, 25 degrees. This room is 4.8 degrees um, Celsius. And the idea behind that is that uh, temperature should actually bleed between rooms so having a warm room here should affect my kitchen which means i might want to keep my kitchen far from um heat sources which makes a lot of sense and also having a stove in your kitchen should make the kitchen hot um and certainly when i cook uh, i just baked bread uh, today actually and um my 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 apartment got very very hot um so you know Cooking heat sources do have or should have an effect on uh, room temperatures. Might as well put the limestone block floor all the way over, right? Like that. We have so many blocks. We've got three thousand blocks. That was an excellent use of that uh, that winter period. No, I didn't. I didn't actually do that. <sighs> I did that. God damn. Okay. So, um, I messed up and I, someone probably saw me doing it and was like, no, no, no. And the, well, I did it. I did it. It was, it was an accident, but, uh, okay. Let's get it out like that for now. Hmm, that's super frustrating. That's super frustrating. I had that all perfectly laid out, and then we wound up laying it down. At least you started with the materials that don't matter. The, those interior uh, walls matter a lot less. Okay. 
two, three. Oh, I am. I am. Cowboy's profound sense of annoyance. Okay. It's all good, though. I'm glad I caught it before. You know, I could have gone and paid attention to something else. That would have been, could have been, not would have been, but could have been terrible. Um, accidentally. And I can replace those other things as time wears on. But for some reason, I got the limestone block floor just fine. That's hilarious. Whatever it is, it is what it is. Okay, I don't know how my animal taming is going on here. We've got a piglet that's popped out. Uh, I guess, I guess it's probably easier to tame a piglet, isn't it? Um, so we'll have them focus on taming the piglets um, as they, before they mature, because I think they get harder to tame um, when they're uh, full-fledged adults. Also, I should probably actually start my honey production. Um, there's, there's a resource that you benefit from having uh, as much of as you can, especially with respect to like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You want to... You want to ferment, you want to ferment that honey, you want to make uh, mead alcohol production, which will boost everybody's mood, make make this community extra happy. I mean, they are pretty happy, I think, but we'll make them extra happy. We're also probably going to need to expand religious facilities, I imagine. Um, we've got seven, and I think I've got a religious uh, capacity of, so yeah, so... We're heading toward, the, and they're all of the same religion still, so we're heading toward the point where um, building a restitutionist chapel into the structure is going to be a critical way to keep morale up. Should make sure I have doors, right? Like this, yeah, so this, I can put a reinforced door through there. Oops. Probably could uh, stand to do some research too. I'm looking at Mark there. He doesn't have a weapon in his hands or any armor on, and uh, he needs a bow. That's important thing to research at this stage, I think. Just make sure we get the crenellations plotted as well, so they will be built hopefully by the time um, uh, bandits show up. Let's try that. One extra there. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Again, the actual gatehouse might might be um, one layer taller when I finish. Like, this is still temporary, but uh, I think it will be, actually. So the wall is going to be substantially taller. It'll probably be four units tall. Could also put accesses into the towers and doors and roof them so we have more indoor spaces. That might be wise. More workshops. Let's double check on research here. 
I think I need to pause the, okay, it is paused. Um, and I'll pause that Chronicle production. So now we'll just be producing Chronicles on this bench. Just gonna make sure that, uh, Yeah, Oscar's gardening. What's he gardening? It'd be great if I could move the herb, herb garden inside the walls. That's sort of one of those things. There's, oh, they're adding, uh, so in addition to temperature management interior, they're adding temperature management exterior. Uh, so the sun and the shadow are going to affect surface temperatures, um, which is going to have uh, definitely an effect on crops. If your crops are in shadow, um, they'll be in colder areas. Um, they may not be able to grow on certain fall days because they're in cold shadow, um, but also your characters will will seek out shadow. The community members will seek out shadow during the course of the day, um, and you're going to have to get hats on them. They're going to have to wear sun hats and stuff, weather-appropriate garments. Um, sounds stressful, to be honest, but I'm kind of I'm kind of looking forward to it. Okay, now we can pop that open. Yeah, that's good. Hopefully we'll be able to get rid of this this episode too. When this gatehouse is complete, I should have no problem finding the way through. Although, do I have enough iron? How much iron do I have? Mm, it might be wood that I'm actually short on here. Let me check. I definitely don't have any on the stockpile. Oh, I do have a little bit of wood in the stockpile. Okay. Um, that said, we might need to slate some more trees for cutting. I don't need much wood. Like I don't need to clear cut a forest, but keeping in mind that winter will arrive at some point and I want to have I always want to have some wood in the stockpile so we can you know fuel fires and right now most everything can be built out of stone blocks that I want which reminds me Catherine should be on research level two grow and harvest three Someone's ringing the town alarm bell behind me. It's Sunday, it's Sunday afternoon. It's a afternoon mass, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if they're Catholic or Anglican or. Had a little bit of a quirky moment there. My camera froze up for some reason. Um, I looked over and it wasn't running. So that's new. Fix that though. Where's Kevin going? Not doing what he's supposed to, that's for sure. Okay, how's the underground chamber? Good, very good, okay. I think that underground area is all going to be uh, storage. Like that, that'll be uh, combined wine cellar and cold storage, or remove all the heat sources from it. And again, I'm 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 pretty pumped with the temperature changes um, ahead of. Um, speaking of temperature, our winter clothes are decaying. They should be wearing their summers anyway. Um, not that I think we have any might be the problem, but um, 
yeah, the, the, the temperature changes along with like potential future water addition, um, which I think they, they want to add uh, propagating fire um, that affects structures and like fire disaster events that's in the uh, um, the roadmap. It's in the roadmap. So it will be it will be interesting to see um, whether whether the uh, the temperature change really makes a big impact on gameplay. I, I suspect it will. I think the end iteration of this game is going to be something a lot closer to RimWorld, like a highly detailed simulation. Um, well, this could be a problem here, so I should delete that. Then I should add floors or, you know, walk up with filler in there. How's the taming going? He's, he's been taming it. This reminds me, I should uh, floor the interior of the storage so things that are in there don't decay. Um, and I can put, I can then put hay on the storage. Okay, so we've got a an almost fully enclosed room in there now. I don't I don't know what will go in that room. That'll all change in the interior there. I'm just gonna let him finish the. Uh, there we go. And he's yeah, excellent, excellent. Okay, maybe maybe I should have him focus on those things that won't block him in the corner, though. Yeah, if he works his way outward, he can't get stuck, right? Kevin and Mark are exhausted. Double check that I still have foods. Yep, yeah, we're making food. Awesome. Okay. He did it from the inside. Like a smart guy. As well, floor that too. Also, uh, I guess I should get rid of some cats. Cats are eating food, right? This is something that I established last time. I can have some of them. Um, let's see, animal. Yeah, almost did cats like twelve cow. Oh God, I didn't want to count. Um, so we're just gonna keep. Uh, young female cat and an old female cat and then literally other, every other cat is getting turned into a hat um and it appears all of my cats almost all of my cats are female um we'll keep one young male cat okay i don't i don't know if they actually do get turned into meat or i feel bad i feel like uh like the judge in uh it's not the road what, what what is that the blood meridian cormac mccarthy's blood meridian the judge a sack full of puppies yeah there's too many mouths to feed it's just it's too many cats and, you know we don't we don't have that much of a vermin problem um you know if there were more places for them to hang out and diversify and we'll go you know they'll repopulate it <laughs> doesn't seem to be a problem with the cat breeding um but I guess I guess yeah we we turn them into 
hats. Uh, my mushrooms just decayed in the stockpile, which means they must have been improperly stored. I don't I don't even remember where mushrooms were being stored. Probably someplace I put them in a panic trying to feed the animals. Lincoln's almost done the room. That's great. Should make sure they put a regular door in to keep the temperature controlled. Doubling the doors like that. That that I mean that will in in uh, RimWorld that has an effect on temperature if you double doors up like that. Um, each door slows the speed at which air transfers between cells, so. Hankin's mining 31. Yeah, he's going to be a master miner. How old is Hankin, anyway? I think he's pretty old, right? That's uh, 53. Well, pretty old is relative, but yeah, he's he's getting up there. Um, could, could drop dead any day now, and they do. They do age out. I'm at iron, aren't I? Yeah, only 25 iron left. Who is the uh, smith? Andrew's the smith. Oh, we got a couple smiths actually, don't we? Mark is a smith. I could have Mark uh, do that after animal husbandry, cooking third, tailoring fourth. Yeah, okay. Kevin and Missa are hauling, that's fine. Oscar is also a smith, but he's growing, and let's see if that's... Yeah, that's, that's working out for us over here. He's got almost everything planted. Um, are the cabbages all ready? They are about to be, yeah. Okay, I might as well slate the cabbages for harvest. Okay. Have Oscar start harvesting. Gonna take him another probably two days to mine all that out, including the corridor there for the stairs. Also, apparently animals are going to influence temperature. So if you we were we were to build uh, residences above the um, the sheep pens or the goat pens. Uh, more the pig pens, the animals will produce um, ambient heat. They haven't they haven't put dung in the game yet, um, and and you know that is a resource that animals probably should produce, and that might you know on its own uh, yield a temperature increase via decomposition um, or uh, potential building elements, wattle and daub, if mixed with um, sticks and hay. That would be really cool, um, Foxy Voxel, if you're listening and you want to give us wattle and daub construction, um, I'd be super keen on it. It would look good. Would look good. Or even if you know you just wanted to forego that and just give us um, clay. Clay from animal poo, you know, like, because that's... Waddle and Dob is effectively like a homemade clay-ish mixture. Um, some dirt, some dung. I'm going to put lime in it. I think they did lime plaster, so... I 
Might as well floor that. Get ready, because this uh, this room, the roof is coming off it. I'm gonna kind of visualize the final keep too. Like there's definitely enough space in the center there. I just I could put it in one corner. That would give me more and more uh, use of the whole courtyard. I, I I always just feel like the concentric design is better. Start pulling those down. And now is where stuff starts to get interesting. Let's put a limestone block stair. Here's the question. Do I want it at one? That's fine. It's fine for now. We'll probably put a drawbridge or some thing. That allows me to get a even more flanking fire. Now, I should just delete the roof, shouldn't I? I was going to destroy a lot of stuff here, but... Okay. I'm going to switch everybody possible over to construction. Let's get Hank in on construction. Take him off mining for now. I'm getting sick of hearing that pickaxe in the background anyway. Get Kevin on to construction as well. Um, take him off hunting and animal husbandry. Okay. Priorities are seal that up right away. We're gonna have to move the things that are laying on the ground there. And this goes across, yep. Okay. 
temporarily I can expand this into the uh, towers there. Yeah. Just a couple weapon racks to get things squared away. Um, and then the bookshelves are going to be the big problem. That's because I just I just deleted a significant amount of study space. I'm going to wind up putting those down in the library, um, which is what this room will become temporarily, <laughs> I guess. Uh, it's going to be a wine cellar, but, uh, you know, we just uh, eliminated some bookshelves, so we'll do that. And everybody should build. Why don't we have wood? I thought I would have got wood from deleting the... Damn. Damn, son. Okay. Now this becomes a problem. Who should be cutting plants? I guess it doesn't matter. Let's have Mrs. Hauling. My food's sitting out in the open there too. Let's see how long that's got on it. Pile rots in three days. Have Oscar switch over to hauling. Create a new zone here. If we get attacked right now, we're going to be in some trouble on account of the there only being one layer of defense at the, uh, correct? I screw up. There we go. At the gate, right? They can just walk through these. So, um, that is, that is in fact what it is. There's not much I can do right now. Um, I just need them to hurry up and get all the things built that they can build. Sounds like they're laying down some weapon racks. There we go. Yeah, everything's gonna, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be absolutely fine in the end. Okay, who is supposed to be smithing again? Uh, it's Mark. Hankin got stuck somehow because he's just a certified fucking genius. That's fine. Okay. Let's make sure that doesn't happen again.
Ooh, that's not good. That could be disastrous. Um, for right now, we'd best do that. I'll be putting traps in this hallway, all the way down, I think. So. Yeah. Okay, she's still researching. My books got put away. Everything got moved. Nothing decayed. Stuff in the stockpile will decay because it's sitting outside, so... That's fine because we're slowly moving the stockpile anyway. Just need to think about uh, side door access there, so... No reason why I'm not lining that hall the way with doors, is there? No reason. Kevin became a devout restitutionist. So I guess exercising um, their faith uh, increases their level of devotion. Um, I may have noticed that before, but that seems like a new observation to me. all sealed up. Perfect. I like where that stairwell is. I really like where that stairwell is, actually. That creates a logical flow, so I'm going to put one on the other side, too. Has food been brought in? Yeah, food's been brought in. Okay. So of all the seeds, great. Yeah, this community's doing really well. I, I'm quite quite pleased with the uh, the pace at which people are working here and things are getting done. Because now that we've got uh, cabbages and raw meat, she's going to yeah start producing stews, which are uh, superior food. 
from multiple sources. I do need to get berries. That's another thing that, um, even more so than hay, I could stand. Yeah, so there's berries over here. Uh, I could stand to get the berries picked. No, not cut. Picked. See any more? Some now. Oh, there's more here. That's good. Yeah, so uh, once I get berries planted, um, they are an excellent and constantly renewing source of food. Again, I'll have to I'll have to move some terrain around. Like, there's not I, I'm not really seeing a way to avoid excessive amounts of digging. We're starting to run low on uh, stone blocks, though. So, so this gatehouse is likely what we're going to get for the season. I did actually manage to put a... No, I didn't. Okay. Let's do that. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that makes me the dumb dumb. Look at that. And so I forgot a central pillar and the <laughs> roof collapsed. I'm like, why is the floor? Oh, the floor is missing because I forgot a pillar. Uh, architecture, right? I do like that it is that kind of unforgiving architecture system, though. Like, really, like that um, provides a much bigger challenge, you know, in a game like uh, Conan Exiles or. Um, Imperial Galactic Survival, which I also play, like, sometimes the building systems can be pretty forgiving, and other times they can be like, what? Well, I didn't mean, ah, oh, it all fell over, like, and, you know, hours of your work just collapsed. So, I, I, I kind of like that excessive excavation will completely fuck a build in this. Needs to be, yeah, filled in. Perfect. What's going on with this, uh, these rooms anyway? Weapon racks are full. 
Outdoor weapon racks. Do things decay on them? I don't think so. Okay, we're almost to cooking. This build is much, much bigger um, than my last one on Ravensworth. It's going to be much more complicated. We're playing on a harder difficulty, so... Use the maculations. I guess I do offset that from the wall. Hankin has become devout oak brethren, so I guess uh, I guess Hankin does not share the religious. I don't know how that. How does that happen? They're all restitutionists, and he's just getting more pagan. I didn't realize he was. Hmm. Oh, he is a witch. Delete those. Delete those. Might as well delete those too. Great. Relocate these inside the courtyards. Try to put a Good. Yeah, all the doors are done now. I kind of wonder where all my books are going.
Let's say I do have bookshelves down here. And yeah, okay, all the books are, yeah, it's fine, whatever. It's low priority, as long as we still have book storage. We get, uh, who's hanking back on mining? Yeah, guys, don't, uh, don't fuck up with your pillars. <laughs> unless you, uh, unless you want to build pillars, um, the, then do it early, because if you do it late, you're going to have your, your, st your critical stuff falling in on itself. That's no good. I don't really know how to decorate this. Gate area. It's kind of weird, but I'm going to leave it open for now so that they can shoot down into. Whatever. That's where it's going to decay because no one can get to it, but I don't, I don't want access there, so... Okay, we're on summer day five. Um, barley's coming up. So we'll get Osgar harvesting and growing. We'll get Catherine harvesting and growing. Cooking three, research four, steward five, hall five. Where is my cabbage rotting? Why why do I have No. Why do I have any place where there's food stored? Oh, did I make a Nope. Cabbage rotted. Why did my cabbage rot? That should never happen. Is my interior temperature too high? Oh, it is pretty high. Rots in 15 days. That's still no good. That's my, that means all my food's going to rot. Okay, barley's turned off. That's good. Nothing I can do about that. It is high summer after all. As far as indoor hay storage, I'm going to have to put it here.
Okay, how's the pig taming going? 19%. So we're not we're not getting tame pigs anytime soon. I'll I'll have to do that in the winter when we have um, spare food and I can just like assign a couple people to focusing on it. This. Okay. Hank, and I really need you to mine that out. I think that's that block above is gonna yeah. Can I have him reach it? No, he can't reach it. Suppose I could build a temporary limestone floor. Doesn't really matter if these blocks or not, I guess. Easy come, easy go. He's been pounding on that door for a while. <laughs> it's, it's a little weird. It's a little weird. I think that that was a bug. His construction skill was going up, but uh, the door wasn't actually getting built. And I think this door is going to be the same over here. Are these shelves not uh, big enough for something? Is this what's going on? Why do I not have raw foods? It is being hauled slowly. So far, so good in the bandit attacks. No bandit attacks at all. I don't. I don't know if it's bugged or what. Oh, you know what I just remembered. I forgot. <laughs> I haven't had a merchant stall in uh, in, a, in a while as well. Um, it was over here, but I deleted it. So let's figure out where to put the merchant stall. Just somewhere up. Somewhere up here for now. Oops. Okay, these are... Okay. We're on summer day six, so we can't sow more barley this season, or we'll just lose the crop. Um, someone did so a little bit.
one of the cats died, that's fine. I'm not I'm not upset at all. Okay. Now I can have Hank and mine that. No, you're not working on it. You're clearly not working on it. Already working on it. <laughs> okay, we're uh, we're we're approaching the end of this episode here. Um, uh, I think this was one of the more productive sessions of going medieval I've had in a while. We got the gatehouse done. We got the underground chamber done. Um, we've completely revamped the engineering headquarters. Um, and I even brought in some harvest, and that's like. No, nope, no, nope, come on. Deconstruct. That's an order. Here we go. And deconstruct. There we go. All right. And now, theoretically, I should be able to complete the stairwell. Yeah. All right. And that'll make a big difference. Put doors down at the bottom there, too. I'm like, that's, that's a lot of doors for any enemy to have to come through, most of which are fully exposed from above. Not much cover there. I'll put some traps in, in little side alcoves uh, on the way down so that they, they really um, they take some damage. But uh, yeah, I think I think that's about, about it. In next episode, we're going to go through summer and fall. Um, big second planting, bring in the rest of the harvest, and uh, I guess start to shift our focus over to animal husbandry for the, uh, for the winter season. Um, that's all for me for now. This is the Postmodern Cowboy playing Going Medieval, a community management survival game for Foxy Voxel. Um, if you like watching me play these games, let me know what you think down in the comments. If you don't like watching me play these games, let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, throw me a like, subscribe to my channel, and as always, keep it peaceful out there. <laughs>